What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tips and Tricks. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use the points, how to use your defenseman in the offensive zone to score goals. Um, so now we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to walk you through two different ways I do it. So the first one is the low to high one timer. Now this is probably the best way uh, to score with defensemen. It works really well and the key to this, uh, so there are basically two keys. The one is to uh, make sure you're passing from low to high. So this guy quits after I uh, score on him early in the first. Um, but yeah, so you want to make sure that uh, you have one guy low, usually around the circle in the hash marks, which opens up a passing lane to a one-timer to your defenseman up high. Um, this works really well because if you look here, I drew those two defensemen out to me, and it's an easy one-timer uh, for the goal. Uh, the second key to this one is look at him walk in and just clap it in. Giordano, he's a beast. Um, but the second key to this is to have your defensemen with the correct handedness. I know I've said this a lot in different tips. It's essential that your defensemen, uh, both defensemen, so your right defenseman is left handed and your left defenseman is right handed. This is that you can pull off the one timer. Look at that passing lane. He's giving me all day. Gets a nice little deflection there from who was that, Darren Helm. It seems like the AI can, can spot the openings pretty well and they just walk in and they can hit it. Once you hit it right, it goes in a lot of the time and it looks nice. In terms of the defenseman handedness, I would definitely use their off hands on the power play and the correct handedness on even strength. But that's just my personal strategy. It works really well against guys who like to collapse because you can use their defensemen as tools for screening their own goalie as well as your players. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I've done it a fair bit um, and it works a lot when you get your opponent chasing you. That's the key to the low high is you want to get your opponents chasing you, cycle the puck down low. See, I got two guys on my back there, but I pass it to my open defenseman and he bangs it home. The second option is walking the blue line. Now this it requires a little bit more skill and a lot more confidence to pull off. Look at me, I draw him, he's following me, I switch with my defender, look how wide open that shot is, and I put it in. And one word of caution I can give you guys is if you see your opponent using the tight point strategy, so if he's got two forwards up high in the zone covering both your defensemen, I would definitely recommend avoiding using your points because there's more, most likely a lot of space open down low. As you've probably experienced yourself, if you get stripped of the puck by your opponent on the blue line, GG, because your opponent's most likely going to go down on a breakaway and you're going to get scored on. Look how early his goalie goes down here. He's on his knees before I even take the shot. That's one of the easiest goals I've scored uh, from the point there. Giordano again, he scored a lot for me. Um, this shift is honestly one of the uh, one of the best examples of using the points. Just not only how uh, the end result is, but just how often I use the points, how, how frequently I move the puck. Everybody on my team it touches the puck at least once before I bury it here in a bit. You see, look, I go high-low now for that one-timer off the post, but I get the puck back. So Benajad's gonna circle it around a bit. He's chasing me, he's poking me all day. Look, I just stand there, I stand there, wait for him to come to me. Puck opens up, look how hard he bites. Oh, he's down and I bury it with 14 seconds to go. I was already gonna win the game, but I guess this guy was really impatient, didn't wanna wait 13 seconds and he's gone. Using your points is so essential in keeping your opponent on their toes, especially if they're that collapsing type of player, that skill zone type of player who likes to stay down low, take the puck off you down low. You get to change things up. You get to control the play in the offensive zone, keep puck possession, and eventually hopefully getting them running around and open up passing lanes and scoring chances. So if you like this tip and trick, please leave a like, leave a comment if it works for you, Subscribe for more tips and tricks, and I'll see you in the next one.